Okay, somebody asked me how to set up the dyno test for your slot car motors. I've got my dyno. It came with some sticky reflective tape. And all I have to do is get my motor out. And what I do is I take a slotted gear, cut a piece of tape on it, stick it on there. Now, in this case, I've taken a piece of black plastic just to make it a little bigger so you can see where the plastic's spinning around. You need a DC power supply. In this case, it's hooked up to my dyno machine, but it's 12 volts, 1 amp. Makes it a little easier to do the calculations that I need to on different motors like Ninco. So what I'll do is I'll take and hook up, if you can see this, hook up my gear. Now that's running an FF motor, scale electric, 18,000 RPM. Let's see if I can get it so you can see. Run the dyno, and it's running at 28,000 RPM. A little overpowered. So what I'll do here is unhook the scale electric gear. That was a standard 18,000 RPM motor. Let's see. Ninco NC5 14.8 volts. Now this is going to be wacky. So put my sprocket on, connect. And let's take a reading here. Eighteen point four. Now I'm trying to do this so you can see on the camera. What you want to do is hold it off to the one side, and you'll get about as if you hit it in the middle, it's gonna give you some weird answers because it's gonna pick up the reflective side of both. You just want it to pick up one side here. So in this case, on one side, it's about 17 to 19,000 RPMs. Again, 12 volts, one amp. And let me check one more. Usually slotted motors are pretty close. Here is the yellow slim motor. Take a look. Twenty one seven. So, yeah, that's pretty accurate. All right, thanks. Bye.